Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. Given below is a sequence of steps in the processing of wool, which are the missing steps? Add them. So the first step in the processing of wool is shearing, where the woolly covering is removed from the animal's body. So first of all, we have to receive the wool from the animal. After that, what do we do? The next thing that needs to be done is washing it properly so that all the dirt and grease can be removed. So what is that process called? That is called scouring. Now once it is cleaned properly, then it needs to be separated so that different types of wool, different texture of wool, they are separated from each other. Next is the burr picking. Now in burr picking what happens? The bubbles which are present in the wool which makes its texture rough. So those burrs are found and then it is scoured and heated again so that the burrs can be removed and it, the wool can have a smooth texture. Now once that is done, done, then the fibers are dried and dyed, so drying plus dyeing, so it needs to be dried properly and it can also be dyed into different colors. And once even that is done, then you actually have wool fibers which are of different different colors. Now all you need to do is just rolling them into yarns and then send them to the market. And that's how people will buy it. People will make different types of uh, things, different types of clothes, different types of blankets using the wool. Question number six. Out of the following, which are the two terms related to silk production? So you, you have almost five terms here. Now what is sericulture? Sericulture is rearing of silk worms. So yes, this is related to silk production because silk worms produce silk. Floriculture. So floriculture is nothing related to silk. It has to do with flowers and flowers are not related to silk. Next is moriculture. What is moriculture? Moriculture is about cultivation of mulberries. So now do you think that mulberries are related to silk production? Yes, of course, because mulberries are food for a lot of silk worms and those type of silk worms, they produce mulberry silk, which is a very common type of silk. So therefore, moriculture again is related to silk production. Apiculture is again related to the honeybees, so it is not related to silk production and silviculture again is not related to silk production. So only sericulture and moriculture are related to silk production. Question number 7. Match column 1 with column 2. So you have a couple of uh, things in both column 1 and 2. So the first one is scouring. What is scouring? It is the second step in the process of wool, uh, in this entire process of wool processing. So what happens during scouring? The wool that is obtained from the animals that is washed and cleaned properly to remove all the dirt and grease. So this has to match with cleaning sheared screen. Mulberry leaves. What are mulberry leaves? They are the food for silkworm. A lot of silkworms feed on mulberry leaves. Yak. So yak is a wool yielding animal. Yes, of course it produces wool. Cocoon. What is cocoon? Cocoon is that uh, structure which is formed by the protein secreted by the silk worms and this cocoon when uh, it hardens in presence of uh, air, this cocoon gives us silk fibers. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on fibers and fabrics and I hope that you would have enjoyed knowing how do we obtain the natural wool and silk from different animals. Uh, so see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.